Hello, I'm Mary Rosine Beasley, and I want to tell you some things uh, today. Yesterday, I was making muffins. I had a pumpkin recipe, and so I decided instead of pumpkin bread, I would do muffins. And I just want to let you know that they're very tasty. I did add pecans and a little bit of extra cinnamon sugar on the top, so I was extremely pleased with the outcome. Um, also, I want to show you a couple of products I always like to look around for new ideas. I was at Walmart and they have an aisle with some products and this was something that was there and I uh, decided to buy it and take it home and it's very useful. Um, it has a, 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 a plug like this in the back and it's good for uh, plugging uh, like cell phones and I've also used it for my hair dryer right now. I have, I'm using it in my bathroom, and so that's a place where I can plug in things like that. Now, another product that I found at Walmart uh, was some very robust flashlights. And this flashlight uh, is a Bell and Howell, and there were three of them in the package, and it is uh, just very, very um, robust, and it does has different features to it. So anyway, this might be something you would want to look into. Um, and I do keep one like in my car and one uh, in my bedroom. All right, now another thing I wanted to just point out is um, I found these three leaves down on the ground the other day and I just thought they might be interesting. You could uh, show little kids um, things about these leaves. There's spots on them which I think are very interesting to talk about. They also could be something like an art project. So anyway, these are just some ideas. Uh, then I also want to advise you that uh, this is some charcoal. Uh, we were having using a barbecue unit the other night, and this residue is very helpful. If you, for some reason, do not have soap, this is, can be utilized for that purpose. You can put it on your hands and then use it to spread it around, and you would find out that it will take the whatever residue is on your hands and take it off and then you can just wash your hands. All right, so that's uh, something to think about. Now, another thing that I like to suggest to people is that they can do little things like this for spring. Uh, last uh, spring around Mother's Day, I bought, I had several of these kind of containers and a lot of different flowers like this and my daughter made several of these, put them together. They were quite attractive, and we took some of them to a nearby uh, nursing home so that we could leave them for the residents. So this is something that was quick. I just bent these flowers so you could see, and I had a little bow that I had handy. So uh, this is just something very quick. The container, this particular came, container I bought at Dollar Tree, but I could find uh, containers like this other places. All right, so uh, anyway, these are just easy things to do. Now I'm going to show you how to make a bow. Now I had made some of these at Christmas time and somebody asked me to show her how to do this. So I'm going to um, show you that basically this is a twist, uh, a twist uh, um, activity. And what's easiest for me is to use pipe cleaners. So what I want to show you is one that I've already made. And so just a moment, I'll do that. Uh, during the holiday season, I had some decorating that I did where I was utilizing, of course, some things I already had. And I had these white and kind of a silver thing and also had a lot of ribbon from that time period and so I made this bow and what I want to do is to show um, how to make this style of bow. Now this is a bow that you could make throughout the year. Uh, during this season you would probably pick some pastel colors. I have a lot of this ribbon so I'm going to demonstrate this technique using uh, this ribbon. All right, so what uh, I would do first is, and this is not enough, is I would cut 
uh, about two, at least uh, two feet of ribbon. And um, I'm just going to, since this is a demo, uh, this doesn't have to be perfect. Now this particular ribbon is very easy to work with and it has this edging that has this wire. So that makes it even easier. All right, now I'm going to use some white things like this. Um, I have, you know, different colors and I picked out the white. So basically, this is a twisting activity. And so I'm going to kind of figure out sort of about approximately where the mid part is. So I'm going to twist and then I'm going to make a loop. And, uh, and so now I have a loop. Now I'm gonna twist again and then I can make another loop. And uh, you can make these things as kind of as full as you want, or you know you can make them longer. What I recommend is that you get some ribbon that you um, can practice with. Now be patient because this is really pretty easy, but it's just basically what you're doing is you're doing a you're looping and you're twisting, and you're just going to do it. Uh, this one is not going to be as full as that one, but I'm uh, just showing you a technique. Okay, so this one has two loops. Now, I'm going to do it again in a minute. So now you have the basic idea. Now, in this case, what I can do is um, I'm going to tie it and with this tw twist thing. I'm going to tighten it as, as tight as I can. Then what I'm going, you know, then I, I'm going to twist it some more. Now I can take some of this ribbon and I can make it so I can cover this, though, you know, how I want it so that we, I don't, so you can't see where this item is underneath. So that's just, this is showing you this basic idea. And then this is this ribbon is very easy to work with, so I can twist it around to the way I, I want it to be. So I have this extra piece, and I can tie it and twist it and then trim it. Okay, so now I'm going to do a bigger bow. And what I'm gonna do is estimate how many loops I want. So this one has one, two, three, four, five, six, I think. So what I'm going to do is just go, oh, I, I'm not even, I'm going to go, I need about one, I need about two, I need about three, and I need some more, another loop, I want another loop at five, maybe six, and then of course I want plenty for a tail. So I'm always gonna do extra, and don't worry, you can always save a little bit left, uh, whatever's left, you can always do something else with it. So, um, so just a moment, I'm gonna pick my ribbon up. All right, so, okay, now I'm gonna want a tail that is about about like this. So now I'm going to get my first loop and then I'm, you know, just going to twist and remember this is a demo so it's not maybe going to be quite as perfect as I want but I'm just showing the concept and this is something for you to practice and be very patient because it's really fun and don't worry because it won't, it won't probably be perfect until you practice it just a little bit. And um, I honestly hadn't done this for a long time because I had plenty of bows around my house. So I didn't even need any bows until I decided to do sort of a white thing. So, so anyway, I'm just, I'm gonna show you the idea. Now, you wanna make sure that you keep it twisted tightly. And if you decide at some point that you don't want this to be as long and as with as many loops as you thought you did, 
that's okay because you can always stop and modify it. And so just keep twisting and doing these loops. And then you do another loop. So it's basically you're twisting and you're doing, you're just twisting and you keep doing it until you get as many loops as you want to end up with. Now I'm going to go ahead because this is a demo, I'm going to do probably one more loop and then I'm going to stop at that point. Um, so it's just remember it's, it's a loop and you're twisting and you're tw twisting as tightly as you can because at some point you're going to uh, tie it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and look for where I need to tie it and I'm going to make sure that I've got this around all of those loops and they're all secure. So, and then when I get done with this bow, I will fluff it a little bit and twist it till it looks just like the way I want it to look. And I want to make sure that I capture all of the loops. And you, you, there's a lot of forgiveness with one of these um, things that I'm tying it with. So whatever I need to do, and I'm going to be, and I'm going to make it tight. And then when I get done, I'm going to cover it with a, um, and I see that one of the loops is not inside, so I'm just going to come around, and I'm not, uh, I'm just going to keep twisting and making sure that every one is where it needs to be, and until, uh, now the best thing is when, okay, so I have one more that I need to get capture, so I'm going to come around. Now the best way would be for me to have, okay, so you can see that I'm building up. Now, this takes a little bit of practice. Be patient, it's fun. Just realize probably the first one you make is not gonna be the best, but with practice you get much better. And you can see that this bow is one that I took my time, I knew what I, where I was headed, I had a vision in my mind, and there's probably, there may be YouTube videos out there that a lot of people have shown how to do this, so that would be good. So I, anyway, I trust that this is gonna inspire uh, people to go out and get some ribbon and, and do this, and you can have gorgeous bows yourself, just be a little bit patient and uh, have fun. So anyway, this is uh, just a way to introduce you to this idea. So yes, this this is how, um, you know, I have just kind of learned how to do it uh, over the years, haven't done it, hadn't done it for a while until this past holiday season. So anyway, this is, and this particular ribbon um, would actually, if somebody had a winter wedding, um, that could have worked really well for some bows uh, for their flowers and uh, maybe pews in the uh, sanctuary of their building. Anyway, it's just uh, to show you, and uh, like I said, I would cover it with a little bit of this after I got it tied the way I wanted, and then uh, I would go ahead and snip the ends to where these two would be about the same as you can see that it's done on this wreath. So anyway, uh, this is something I recommend that you have fun with and I trust that you will uh, play around with this until you're satisfied with your product. Thank you.